The elements and principles of design, pleasing the eyes. What makes a good design? Professional artists of all genres take into consideration the arrangement of elements and principles of design to create, compose, and define their works of art. The elements of design include texture, value, shape, color, form, line, and space. Texture is the surface quality or the feel of an object. It can be actual, real, or simulated. Value is the lightness or darkness of tones or colors ranging from white as the lightest to black as the darkest value. For example, the achromatic scheme. Shape is an enclosed, defined, two-dimensional space. It can be geometric, mathematical, for example, as circles, squares, or triangles, or organic, as found in nature. Color refers to the quality of reflected light and has three properties. They include hue, which is the color's name, the value, the lightness or darkness of the color, or the intensity, which is the brightness or dullness of the color. They come in monochromatic, which is one color plus uh, tints of white and shades of black or uh, things of that nature, different colors. So in this example, we have white and blue. Or they can be analogous where they are side-by-side -side colors on the color wheel. That's how you will find them, like the orange is next to the red, and the yellow is next to the orange, etc., etc. They can be complementary, where opposite colors are, are on the opposite sides of the color wheel. It can be warm colors, such as the reds, to the cool colors, which are the blues. The warm side of the color wheel or just the cool side of the color wheel, for example. Form is a three-dimensional geometrical figure. It can be a sphere, a cube, cylinder, cone, etc. It can also be ge geometric or organic. Line is the path left by a moving point. It is one of the most important elements. A line can take many forms. It can be horizontal, diagonal, or curved. It can also change over its length, starting off curved and ending up horizontal. Lines can be used to show many different qualities, such as contours. They define the shapes and the form, or feelings or, or expressions. For example, a short, hard line creates a feeling different to a very flowing line. Space refers to distances or areas around, between, or within components of a piece. Space can be positive, such as white or light, or negative, such as black or dark, open or closed, shallow or deep, and two-dimensional or three-dimensional. Principles of design include movement, rhythm, balance, unity, contrast, emphasis, and proportion. Movement is how the elements direct the viewer's eye through the art piece. It may give a sense of action, and in some cases, such as installations, some parts may actually move. Rhythm is the repetition of an element which repeats a visual beat or rhythmic pattern. Balance is the distribution of visual information. Symmetrical balance is where elements are given equal weight from an imaginary line in the middle of a piece, such as a mirror image, across a vertical axis. In this photograph, you'll notice that if you drew a line down the middle, you will see a symmetrical pattern. Nothing that 
how you saw it. Or if you drew a line down the middle of the face, you would notice how your eyes are symmetrically across from one another. Asymmetrical balance is also called informal balance. There are no mirror images in this composition. Radial balance is where elements emerge or radiate from a central point. There's unity, which is a measure of how the elements fit and belong together. And it provides the cohesive quality that makes an artwork feel complete and finished, as in this Van Gogh painting of Starry Night. Contrast is the arrangement of opposite elements in a piece so as to create visual interest, excitement, and drama. For example, light versus dark colors, rough versus smooth textures, large versus small shapes, and so on. Emphasis is defined as an area or object within the artwork that draws attention and becomes a focal point. This can be created through contrast of size, color, value, or placement, such as isolation. Proportion is the size of shapes in relationship to one another. This can create larger or smaller areas of interest within a design. And that takes us to the end. That takes us to the end of our elements and principles of design. I would like you to have a good long look at this graphic here on this page and decide for yourself, take about a good 15 minutes, 10-15 minutes and write a little paragraph about what makes this a good design using all that you've learned about the elements and principles. When you finish that, I'd like you to move on to the next slide. And have a good look at this one and see what kinds of elements. I would like you to pick out the elements and principles that you notice within this graphic and uh, write a little 